In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the alert time lapse importer to bring your recorded time lapse sequences from your memory card to your hard drive. Of course, you can use other importers, for example, the Lightroom importer. But for you as a time lapse photographer, the alert time lapse importer has a couple of advantages. You can open the importer either by clicking on this toolbar icon or by selecting File Import. And this brings up the import dialog. On the left you can see the source directories where you can select your memory card and once you select the folder you will get the preview here. On the right side you select the destination folder and it's always a good idea to have a parent folder for a couple of time-lapse sequences. For example, in this case, I will use this Bolivia folder where I already have a couple of sequences inside. If your sequence is split up into different camera folders here on the left side, then just select the parent folder. It will import everything that is inside the multiple folders you might have in this will always show you the image count to import. Let's have a look at the options here. Once you selected the main folder, you will import to here. You can just check create subfolder and type the name of the folder here. Then you can choose to prefix the date time automatically as year, month, day and hour. And you can see this from my existent time-lapse sequences, that it's a very good idea because you will always see from which day this time-lapse is. You will get an alphabetical sorting from the latest to the youngest time-lapse and you'll always have your time-lapses in order. Another option is to not import JPEGs. If you have set your camera to capture RAW plus JPEG, for example, when shooting the Holy Grail with QSLR dashboard, then you will have both on your memory card, but you don't need the JPEGs anymore for the further editing now in LR timelapse. So just check, don't import JPEGs here. The last option is to rename your images to year, month, day, hour, minute, second. This is also a very good idea to check this because it will prevent duplicate image names and will make sure that your images are always in the right order. With LR Timelapse Pro you could also convert to DNG while importing. Okay, let's go to import and this will start an import task and you will see what is happening directly here in your preview window. If you have a fast card reader and a fast card like here, you will see the import process will be very quick and you'll get nearly a real-time preview while importing. After importing, you'll get your new sequence exactly there where you decided to choose your destination folder. So let's click on this fresh sequence and load it into LR Timelapse. In the first instance, LR Timelapse will load EXIF data to speed up the subsequent loading processes. This will only happen once. Now you'll get the camera previews loaded and you can already scrub through your sequence. The blue curve will show you the luminosity of the images. So if you have a big bump in the blue curve, maybe you have imported two sequences from your memory card. So it's always a good idea to scrub through the sequence once or just hit the play button in order to see the preview of your sequence. Now you would like to split the sequence into two because we have two time lapses imported here. And a very easy way to do this is just navigate to the place where you see this huge gap and check the intervals as well here. This interval column will easily show you that there is a huge time difference between this shooting and this shooting. So this is a place to split the sequence. Another way introduced with LR Timelapse 5 is just to press Alt and then cursor down 
to jump to the next interval change. So this will end up here automatically. This makes it very easy. So in this case, we would just select the last part, right click and say new folder from selection. I'll name this mountains and I'll prefix the date time. So this is from 2017 and this will instantly move this part of the sequence to the new folder mountains. Let's just continue with this one. It's always a good idea to check your intervals. In this case here, the camera missed one shot, but it's not too bad. So there's not too much that I can do about this. The rest is cool, but the, in the very beginning, I have some gaps as well. So I will remove this very beginning. And the nice new way to remove images is just by right clicking, remove images. If you do delete images, they would be deleted from your hard drive. But if you do remove images, they will be moved to a new folder with underscore removed added. Check this out. You now you have a folder Laguna underscore removed where you have those images, but they are gone from the main time lapse. Thanks for watching and check out my other tutorial videos as well and enjoy working with LR time lapse.